In this lab, we are going to look at exercises on the normal distribution. So let's have a look at exercise one. Suppose that random variable y follows a normal distribution with a mean of 12 and a variance of 12.25. Then we would like to calculate a few probabilities. First of all, find the probability that y is more than 10. So the first step will always be to standardize. Now to standardize, we subtract the mean and we divide by the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is the square root of 12.25, which is 3.5. And you will see that I rounded off to two decimals because my um, normal tables only go up to two decimals. Now if we draw our little standard normal graph, we want to find the area to the right of negative 0.57. So we would like to find the area to the right of minus 0.57. Now because the normal distribution is symmetrical, that would be exactly the same as the probability that z is less than positive 0 0.57. And now we can look this up in our tables. 0 0.57 gives us 0 Okay, the next question. Find the probability that y is less than 8. Again, we start by standardizing. In our normal table, we want to find the area to the left of negative 1.14. And that is the same as the area to the right of positive 1.14. So that will be 1 minus the probability that z is less than 1.14. And again, we can find it in our tables. Okay, next one. Find the probability that y lies between 10 and 15. And we can look up these probabilities in our tables. Okay, let's look at this last one. Find the value of k for which the probability y less than k is 0.3. Okay, so we know that the area to the left of k is 0 0.3. Or because we know that the normal distribution is symmetrical, we know that the area to the left of minus k must be 0 0.7. So this area to the left of negative k must be 0 0.7. 
So we will start again by standardizing. And now we can go back to our tables. We want to look up a probability of 0 0.7. So if we look here, 0 0.7 will fall more or less there. So we can take the average of 0 0.52 and 0 0.53. So we can say that And this is equal to 0 0.525 and from this we can solve for k and that will give us k 10.1625 okay let's have a look at exercise 2 the annual rainfall in a certain area has a normal distribution if we let random variable x be the annual rainfall in this area what is the probability that the rainfall will exceed a thousand millimeters in a given year? So we want to find the probability that x exceeds a thousand. So again we standardize. And we divide by the standard deviation, which is the square root of 10,000. Okay, if we make the little drawing for our normal distribution, we want to find the area to the right of 1.5. And that is the same as 1 minus the area to the left of 1.5. The next question, if the annual rainfall is less than the 10th percentile, that is, if the probability x is less than k is 0.1, water restrictions are implemented and we would like to find the value of k. So I start again by standardizing. And I standardize by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. Okay, so if we make our drawing here, we know that the area to the left is 0 0.1. So this will be a negative number. So we can also therefore write, because the normal distribution is symmetrical, we can also say that the probability Z is less than the negative K minus 850 over 100, that this must then be 0 0.9. Okay, and if we go to our normal tables again, we want to find a probability of 0 0.9. So if we look up a probability of 0 0.9, then our corresponding Z value is close enough to 1.28. So we can say that minus K minus 850 divided by 100 must be equal to 1.28. And then we can solve for K and we get that K is equal to 725 millimeters. We can of course also do this in Excel, so we can redo exercise 2 in Excel. Okay, so I want to find the probability that Z is greater than 
So I go to my insert function button. I choose the category statistical and then I go down to the normal distribution. Now, because we have already standardized, you can make use of the norm.s for standard distribution. If we haven't standardized, we can use the norm. Um, distribution. So because we already standardized, I'm just going to use this one here. And the z value um, after we've standardized is 1,5. It is cumulative because we want to find um, the probability to the left of 1.5. So we have a true here. And remember, we want to find the probability that Z is greater than 1.5. So we have to subtract that from 1. And we get 0 0.0668. And which is exactly the same that we got when we did the calculation by hand. Okay, and then for the second part, if we want to find the value of K, again, we go to our insert function. And now we go to the um, inverse normal function. Um, I'm going to use the norm.inverse. Uh, if you work with the standard normal distribution, you will use the norm.s. But I'm just going to use the norm.inverse here. My probability is 0, 0,1. The mean is 850. My standard deviation is 100, and then I get 721,85. Again, this differs slightly from what we got when we did it by hand, and that's just because we made use of the normal tables that work only up to two decimals.